the fix, sir. So you are welcome back to Intimate Talk with Dr. Tulu. And like I said tonight, we are talking about men and sexual performance pressure. All right. So you just want to go to Facebook, go to uh, Nigeria Info on Facebook and join us. We are live on Nigeria Info. Just search through Nigeria Info on Facebook. And of course, you could join us on Instagram. We are on Intimate Talk with Dr. Tolu on Instagram. And of course, you could actually watch live on Wazobia Max DSTV 259. And you can watch even on your UHF. You could still watch us live. And of course, you could listen on 99.3, your number one love your number one news talk and sports station, all right? So, you know, I will do it on every episode of this show. But tonight is going to be a different ball game. And I'm trying to take it as easy as possible. This is my first time of having a guest, like I said. And I want him to introduce himself. You should meet my handsome guest. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, all right. Um, yeah, good evening. My name is, um, I'm, my name is Steven, but I'm known as Yo. So, uh, <laughs> and I'm a radio person, so well, I'm sure most of them know you already. Yes, of course. Uh, so, no, um, no, they know my name, so okay. I don't think everyone will they know you. Uh, there is this um, um, comedy show. Oh, that's for TV, but yeah. for radio, it's um, so most of the people that are watching on TV they could actually say, Oh, that's the man on that particular yeah. show, yeah, all right. <laughs> so they could see you like they've been hearing you on radio, yeah. I'm not sure they see you all the time like this. I yeah. So they could see your life tonight. So I'm in the studio with you. I actually try to bring uh, a mature person, somebody that is married, somebody who has experienced life. So that's what I'm actually looking at. And that was why I brought you into the studio. Yo, uh, the man that mature. <laughs> okay, are you mature? <laughs> I actually think you are. Ah, you are married, right? <laughs> 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 All right, so we are talking about men and sexual pressure. Of course, you are a man. Yeah. All right, so you could relate yeah. to that, right? Yeah. Okay, so do you think men actually have sexual pressure? Yes, yes, uh, of course. Um, it happens um, all the time. All the time. It happens. To, there are a lot of men that it happens to, and then it's got a lot to do with um, with um, situations that they find themselves at a particular given time. Okay. Yes, I know that some people have it as a problem. But, um, I'm not even looking at erectile dysfunction. Dysfunction. Okay, fine. I'm looking at performance. Me, performance pressure. Yeah. Like, how good am I? How good am I performing? Am I doing it the right way? Is she enjoying it? Uh, oh, am I going to do well? You know, no matter how good you think you are as a man, yeah. when it comes to the act of lovemaking, the woman determines. You yeah. see your scorecard. Yes. So why are men so worried about that scorecard? Yeah, because if you're not um, satisfying her sexually, whether you like it or not, there's a tendency that she might now start to look outside. Hmm. Yeah. That's a no. I, I've never thought. I've, yeah, I've not yeah. thought about That's a, that. So, so you, you you should try to do all that you can to to satisfy her. That is one maybe. Okay. okay. And then secondly, um, which is also important, um, is um, it, it it might be difficult for some men. That is, if you have a woman that doesn't talk, that doesn't speak up. And I think that is very common in this part of the world. Yeah. I mean, I'm yeah. a sex therapist, and I, I deal with couples a whole lot of time. I could tell you one of the major problems in this part of the world is the fact that we have been trained as women yeah. not yeah. to talk. Yeah. When it comes to sex, everybody is quiet. Yeah. So you could be in marriage for women who have never hugged him for 10 years, 15 years in marriage, and they are there, they are not yeah. talking. Yeah, so it's just... And because, don't also forget, by the time you... If you speak up sometimes... Um, the tendency for the man to look at you as um, mm. looks like my wife is a spoiled brat. Um, she and that yeah. is it. So, so because of it. that, most women don't want to speak up. Yeah, okay. maybe they dated some guys that um, took them to cloud nine. Maybe they dated some guys that um, um, made them feel some kind of way that they never felt before. And then they finally get married. And then when they're married, their husbands don't do up to that level. And you don't also want to speak up because you look at it and then... Uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, even, even if the man asks that... Um, 
Uh, how do I? Most women will still lie. Sense. Most women will still lie that you were so. so I will tell you that ninety-eight percent of Nigerian women will lie. Yes, they will say men you were so. Uh, a lot of women fake orgasm. A lot of women fake anything that it is that they want to fake, and then a lot of them fake money. Can, a lot of can men know? Do, do you know if a woman is faking it? How do you want to know? <laughs> How do you want to know? <laughs> if, so, if, if she's so good at it, if, if she's good at it, uh, then you, you, there's no way you know. You won't know. No. How would you know? So you, you, you could be feeling like a doll, like I'm really... Yeah, you'll be good feeling day. like... That. I, and inside that, she's looking at you like... Uh, I, 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 I've, 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 I've had friends that... And you know guys can make so much mouth. Mm -hmm. you, you meet guys sometimes, and then they're just like me in that big man, like... And then he leaves, and then the girl is just like, Oh gosh, what the uh, <laughs> 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 we've never started, and then <laughs> we've never started yet. And so sometimes and the guy is feeling like, yeah, You know, yeah, so sometimes you won't also blame it, it happens, but then I think it's got a lot to do with the wives actually telling the guys that how do you tell a man? Who you, who you don't want to act, I mean, you don't want to look um, uh, loose. No, no, sometimes it's not being loose too. Because sometimes it might also be um, because you also don't want to deflate his ego. Yeah. Pride. Okay. You don't want to deflate him. Okay, somehow, they say, I, 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 I mean, erection, I, I usually say that a whole lot on my shoulder. Yeah. Erection is a bastard. Mm. Erection is very egoistic. Yeah. So you you say something is saying. I mean, that could be the end of the erection. If you yeah. say something. Yes, 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 yeah, yes. That is not too. That is not on point. I yeah. think. I think. Why I think are men so worried? Why are men so particular about? I mean, I've seen couples on at the point I try to like talk to them. Okay, I try to solve the sexual issue, and at the point of like, okay, if you don't understand everything I'm saying, just take it like. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't. They, they do like, no, Dr. Tolu, I don't want that. Why? Why is it so... If it doesn't work, let it not work. But why can't you guys just like... It's not, it doesn't work, want to work today. I'm cool. Yeah, if it doesn't... That is for those that... Um, those that um, know their worth. No, those that know what they can perform. See, if, for example, for me... Let me give you a typical example. For example... I I cannot perform today. Yeah, I'm, I might not be worried. Maybe because I know that yesterday I performed better. Okay. Tomorrow I can perform better. Okay. I might not be worried. Okay. And it depends. Maybe I'm worried about work. Maybe I'm worried about right. finance. Right. My mind is not at rest. I'm stressed from work, traffic, and all that. So all that, you know, uh, if that is it, oh, well, fine. It's just a one day thing, two days thing, and it's it's okay. Mm -hmm. But if it's a regular thing, then I think you should visit a therapist. Mm. If that is the way you are as a guy, you should visit a therapist um, to be spoken to and then f try to find um, a solution to whatever the problem might be, you know. But I think, uh, see, whether you like it or not, any man will be worried if he is not satisfying his, his wife or partner. Why, why are you guys always worried? Why, why, are you always why are women also worried? You want to tell me women are not worried that they are not being <laughs> satisfied? Care. No, that's not true. No, no, no. No, 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 that's not true. No, this is it. That's not true. Being satisfied is different. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, I'm saying like, if I don't satisfy my husband, mm -hmm. I, I should don't be so agitated. Mm -hmm. See, if he's not, if, if he doesn't satisfy you today, mm -hmm. and then he doesn't satisfy you tomorrow, he doesn't mm -hmm. satisfy you day after tomorrow, he'll be worried. It's normal. Why, why, why are you guys always worried? Why wouldn't you? How do you know? I just give you a know if the woman is not satisfied. No, see, if you are the type, let me give you a typical example. If you are the type that on a good day, I met, I met someone once that was saying, ah, <laughs> it's stupid though. She said that the boyfriend that she used to have, that the guy um, does not last more than a minute two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the first boyfriend she had. Mm -hmm. A minute two. Mm -hmm. Now, she now used the language. This was the way she said it. Until God opened her eyes to cheat on her boyfriend. 
and then, <laughs> that's when she said it. Okay. But God opened her eye to cheat on her boyfriend, and then she met another guy. Mm. That the guy went for like twenty minutes, and then that she visited places that she had never visited in her life. Mm. She went to different clouds that she'd never been to, mm. and then by the time she came back, she was not like what. Is this what I've been missing all this while? Mm. But while she was with her boyfriend, she didn't mm. see it as anything. Mm. She was satisfied with it. Let, let me say this. Let me say this because of what you said. You know, I have a, uh, there, there's something mm, about sexual satisfaction for women. Yeah. Now, you actually do need to, maybe not um, the space of time, like the example you give. Yeah. Now, let me talk about orgasm, for example. You don't really need to experience it. You don't need yeah. to have experienced it to know that you're actually missing something. Even as a virgin, if you get married to someone and you're not able to orgasm, you just know that every time you make love, there's something. Even you've never heard of orgasm, you don't know what it's called, you don't know what it is. You just know, you will know somehow that there is a place I'm trying to get to every time I make love to this man and I'm not getting there. Mm. I'm, I'm, you know I'm not a woman so it might not be easy for me I, I'm actually talking <laughs> from a professional yeah, angle now. Yeah. now you you every woman so for men who always feel like oh but I can't satisfy her it's because she's done this she's done this. most of the time it's not usually like that yes, yeah, and of another course, question of course. that I really want to ask is you know I believe that every man wants a lady who is uh, a woman let's say a lady in the street and a freak in the bedroom yeah. Is that true? <sighs> I would say a freak in the bedroom, yes. If 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 your man wouldn't end up looking out, going outside. Because all these little girls, that's the same thing that they do to them and um, that you think sometimes it's got nothing to do with um, being spiritual or anything. It's just something about them that they do, and then you at home, you don't do. Okay, so are you telling me, Joe, that every man in your own perspective perspective, wants a lady in the street and you freak in the bedroom? Uh, every man will want a so woman. why except, are Nigerian except, men, except, except why are Nigerian men saying, don't, I don't want to raise my wife leg go. I do, why, why? I don't... Uh, wait, no, no, okay, no, no, wait, you don't want why to raise her leg and yet you raise someone why, else's why, leg why, outside. Why, why are Nigerian men like that? Yeah, where, where did you learn it from? What, what are you doing? What is this? And then the woman I want to like. But that's what every man wants. I keep telling women Let, that is the reality that that is what they want. But most women like Dr. Tony, it's not true. No, no, doctor, let me tell you. If you guys actually dated, you did all this while you were dating, for example. So why wouldn't you continue when you're married? But the truth of the matter is, even while dating, if a lady tried to loosen up, and do set, do behave certain way, there is, there is this, you don't know that a lot of ladies currently, even currently, what they do is pretend to be the good girl, even if they are having <laughs> sex, yeah. That is the truth. They pretend to be the, is, it, is that not what you guys want? Nigerian men, yeah. always I want to marry, do you want to sleep, sleep with this, sleep with that? Then the one that doesn't know. That's the way Nigerian men do. That's it. Please, Nigerian men, where are you people? Uh -huh. you call call. You call in now. Uh, because we don't even know them. Uh. You call in and tell us. And now these ladies, now by the time they get married to you, I, I mean, look at it. If you have like five girlfriends, for example, and you're looking at which of them am I going to marry? And then maybe you're sleeping with all of them. There is one who can blow you, who can give you blow job and blow your mind away and make you go haywire and do all these stuff so in bed and all those things. And there is one that is like, no, I don't want to do it. Which one will you want to marry? The one that drives me crazy. It's not true. That is me. You guys are not like that. That's you want me. to marry the good girl. You want to marry the one that. See, and that's why see, most of it's the not, You know, you know, you know. This whole thing is not just about. Um, if you are dating five guys, if if you are dating five five girls at the same time, for example, and you definitely know who is who gives you comfort mm -hmm. first and foremost, mm -hmm. who makes you happy. Mm -hmm. Who gives you comfort? Who you love to talk to most amongst them? Mm. Those are the, f the things that will drive you. Mm. 
And then if she at the same time is good in bed, okay. you will end up with her. Okay, so if if for example, doctor, if for example you are just good in bed, okay, but you cannot do any you, you are not making me happy. Why will I go with you when you are the only thing you are good in is just bed? Mm -hmm. If you're just good in bed, <laughs> you don't cook. Yes, okay? no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Which of them? No, 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 it's what I say is Akebaje. Akebaje, she, yes. She cannot, she cannot yes. do anything. anything. But she's good. In yes. This. And that one is saying, no. Yeah, that wow. is the way he wants it. <laughs> if she's good in bed, that's the way he wants it. If sex is not that important, if it's not that so serious to you guys, how come you always want to Make sure that you are doing it the right way. You are satisfied. Uh, you see, whether you like it or not, mm -hmm. if you're married to the person, she is your the bone of your bone and your the flesh of your flesh. Whether you like it or not, you must do what you must try to satisfy her. Okay. You've agreed to marry this person, okay. and then you guys are already staying together. So the best thing that you can do is to make her happy, satisfy her. See, if you satisfy a woman, by the time she goes to work the following day, she will be all smiles. Mm -hmm. She will be see there will be something about her that you would even notice. Now there is something I talk about on this show. Mm -hmm. I talk about the fact that satisfying a woman mm -hmm. is is a different ball game yeah. when it comes to love making. Yeah. And I mean it's not about lasting long. No, 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 no. It's not it's not that it's you not might even do it for a shorter time and then both of it's you will know that men it is about the quality. quality. Yes. You guys both of you will just know that men that was somewhat but, but the quality aspects Nigeria men don't wanna do. And yeah, you, you, the, 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 the time, a lot of <laughs> the, the, by the time you're thinking of 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 the stress in the country, you're thinking of of money, you're thinking of everything. Ah. Okay, I'm going to go on a short break. Yeah. We have been talking with y'all. And y'all doesn't want to stay with me to the end of the show. I know you guys want to ask a lot of questions. <laughs> they shouldn't have. <laughs> I'm not a therapist, people. So please, you yes. can ask Dr. Tony. No, no, no. no, no. They're to yeah, they asking me tonight. They're not asking me anything. They're going to be asking you. So we're going to be going on a short break. By the time we come back, I want to read your comments on social media, on Instagram, on Facebook. I want to pick your calls. Don't move a muzzle. We are still talking about men and sexual performance pressure and you has been the one with me in the studio the fix, huh? all right you're welcome back to intimate talk with dr tulu we've been talking it intimately and of course i'm not alone tonight for the first time on the show i am with you and of course we'll be talking about men and sexual performance pressure i am not a man and that's why i decided to talk about this you know let's listen from another person's perspective men i was telling you before we go okay somebody is saying uh, and Slim say, yo, you must not go. Let's complete the topic. Uh, uh, Slim, why are you like this now? You know, you know, I have to be. You know, where I have to be very early this morning. Exceptional so. brother, it's a great show. Happy to hear from you. Big up, big up, big yo, up. I beg. They are begging you stay to the end. Big up, big up. <laughs> you can't even see your face. Yeah, you that's know? what that's what I'm tilting. Okay. Big up, big up, big up. That's All right, Humphrey joined us. Uh I can't see the Facebook. All right, so I'm going to be. Actually, I want to pick the call so we could talk. All right. Okay. But before that, there's something we're saying before work during the break. I was telling you that. You see, let me give you a typical example. I have a client. Yeah. And not just one, not just two, not just three in this situation. But let me just use this as an example. This lady got married. By the time I met this lady, by the time she came for therapy, she had two kids already. She got okay. married at around 18. This girl is so beautiful. Aye. So I'm thinking maybe if I, that was like the guy just captured her young, you know, she was very beautiful. And she, by the time she came, she was about entering into the university. The husband was trying to send her to school. Okay. And so she has always been, she, they stayed, it, it, this was in River State. So they were not even staying in Port Harcourt. They stay in one of the towns. So she's not that exposed, but she's very pretty. Now, the husband is trying to move her to town so she could start coming to school. And by the time she came, they were having sexual problem. By the time she came for therapy. And she was like, I don't know. I don't know. You know, she doesn't even know. I was the first time to tell her to mention the word orgasm to her. She doesn't even know. She was like, what's that? This girl got married as a virgin. She has never been with any other man. Everything she knows about sex, the husband taught her. I have a lot of clients like this, but I'm using this as an example. This lady told me every time we make love, 
I just know that there is something. There, that's how she described it. There's something I'm trying to get. I don't know. But I don't get that thing. And I knew she was referring to orgasm. All right? So, it doesn't necessarily mean that a woman, even if she doesn't know what it is, she will know she's missing something. But I, I want to ask you something. How would you miss what you, what you don't know or what? I, yeah. I give you a typical example. It's I, I, different. I, I don't take weed. Okay. Yeah. I don't weed. And then I've got friends that um, they take these things regularly, and yet they tell me I'm, you are missing. So I ask them, what am I missing? If that I used to take it before, then I stopped taking. That's, it's I will not, then you can then use the word that I am thing. missing. Now, you are having sex. It's different. Now, this is taking with you. I've never taken it. Or you're having sex. So you're trying to, you see, I used to say something on this show that, you know, love making for a woman, it's like trying to push a car up a cliff. Yeah. So you're pushing, you're pushing, you're pushing. You know, it's a whole lot of mind work for the woman. It's not like a man that is just penetrating and jerking and, you know, Yeah. For a woman, she's putting a whole lot of effort, emotion, everything has to be there. The mind, the body, the soul. She needs to put everything to really, really get in. Yeah. So she's trying to do all of that in her head. So it's a whole lot of hard work. She's trying to... And all those work she's doing, there's something she's trying... She's, there's a point she's trying to get to. She might not know what that point is. Oh, so really? she's trying to get there. And every time she's not getting there, she's disappointed. She's feeling like, why? Why didn't I get something she doesn't know what it is so but still talking um um sexual performance pressure now men are afraid i think that is the major thing like i don't want her to look outside yeah i think men are very very competitive yeah, of course you know, see you don't know it, see a lot of women think that when there is um when, <laughs> when you have an issue with your husband or your boyfriend or something, they can get jealous. They, they, there was a meme once that was circulating, uh, ladies, don't cheat on us even if we cheat on you because it hurts us more. <laughs> don't give <be> back. <laughs> Do you understand? Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> it, it, it was circulating, I think, sometime last week or last two weeks, yeah? Yeah, because it can be really, it's painful. You understand? So they don't, they don't, it's just like, a guy cheating on his wife or his girlfriend, if he finds out that his girlfriend is cheating on him, he won't, he won't take it. Why? Well, I mean, mean, no, I'm just telling you. So he won't take it. I mean, what is good for the geese is good for the gander. Um, in which country? <laughs> yeah, I'm just asking oh, you, please. Okay, so what's the difference? <laughs> in which yeah. country? In Nigeria. In Nigeria. The man will call you now. Shall we pick their call? Why are you guys always feeling like you are entitled to, to do Wait, something and no. the women cannot do it? I'm not saying that she they will call you. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> now let me see your comment, okay? Uh you are the first time you had sex. Did you know that you had to keep going till you release? What kind of question is that? My brother, I can't even remember when first I did it. So <laughs> I can't even remember. Oh guy, yo, I hear you, doctor, please. How can someone get over a heartbreak situation? I don't want to do something tragic. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the first time this thing happened to me, I, I went to school in Lasso. Mm. I, I went to Lasso. The first time it happened to me, I was in Lasso. Do you know I trekked? I don't know if you know Lasso. Yeah. You know where Lasso I is? I do, I do. Do you know I trekked from Lasso? I was trekking towards Badagri. I was <laughs> trekking. <laughs> I trekked. I trekked. I trekked. For real. <laughs> I'm telling you, I passed to Coco. <laughs> I trekked from Lasso. I passed to Coco. <laughs> So I have had break. Yes. Yeah, because because the only thing in your head you are just talking to yourself. Aww. And the only thing you just you just you just keep you know, I used to tell people that it's it's men are more I just said it here now. When when men when a uh -huh. man is in love. Yes, if he's in love. Except he's not. But when if he's in love, in love women are always women are more emotional. Yeah, emotional, fine. yes. But yeah. men are more Men are drastically emotional when he's in love. We, men will go to any length, will do anything to keep their woman. Yeah, I it's actually true. think so. Yeah, you know, so true. it could be more intense. It could be more intense when a man is in love. So, how can I satisfy my partner? She's a virgin. How your you papa, your wife, or your you married her, or what? How do you satisfy a virgin? How do you want to satisfy a virgin? <laughs> Get married to her. Get married to her, then you can satisfy her seriously. I'm telling I, I you. I think. I think. Um. 
women need to be vulnerable. Yeah. I talk about that a lot of time to enjoy sex. Vulnerability is like, um, take me, you know, just let go. go. Just do whatever you want to do with me. And a woman needs to get to that point before she could enjoy sex. Take. And for men, I don't think men really understand that. Mm, you know, most men these days, they just all they just want to do is just kick and start. Just enter, come out. And it doesn't mm. cut it for women. Yes, it doesn't. Just enter and come out. I think that's what happens um, to most of them these so days. So how do they expect to satisfy how come then they so, sometimes sometimes, sometimes, sometimes have, that's what that's why you know pressure that's that's why sometimes you not hear them complain that it's the woman that's got a fault <laughs> that's, that's why they will have performance pressure yeah. because every time you do it the woman is looking at you it's like a, yeah 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 it happens yeah it's true all right okay so thank you guys i'm going to be opening the phone line now and okay uh doctor i agree to thank you casey Gaffar, please assist me. How can I get oh, the heartbreak guy? Okay, the heartbreak guy. Okay, what do you do? Um, uh, let me see one or two things I could tell you. If you are trying to get over an heartbreak, I think you could for now. For now, you could number one, probably everything that reminds you of her uh, for now till you are able to at least get back to yourself and you can see her without feeling bad. So, you could probably block her on your social media. Take everything that reminds you of her for now. When you know you are fully healed, you can add her back. In fact, you, you, you are healed completely. If you can add her back on social media, you could see her and you are still feeling cool without feeling bad, all right? But for now, you might need to block her. Then number two, you could get busy, you know. Try and do something. Go and learn photography. The time you are using to think about her, use it to do something. That particular time, maybe you, you usually talk, maybe at in the night you can go online and register for an online course and take that time away and use it to get busy with something all right so that will take your mind away from me so get busy uh take her away from your life your environment for now and uh what else can i tell you to do to get over a heartbreak um don't, don't ever stay alone be, yeah, be, be, be people. around people that yeah. care about you. Yeah. And uh, what else? Could, there's so many things you could do, but I hope those few ones will help you, okay? Well done, man. I'm enjoying the show, all right? So, we're going to be opening the phone lines, and I think, ah, WhatsApp, no, we can't do WhatsApp. It's going to get so clumsy. <laughs> all right? So, uh, I'm going to be opening the phone lines so that you guys can call in, ask your your questions tonight. All well, right? Am I the therapist? <laughs> yes, 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 doctor. They've always been asking me questions. So tonight, <laughs> let's listen to somebody. Me, I'm not uh, an expert now. Me, I'm not. Um... This one is a doctor. Is it normal for a guy of 30 years to still be experiencing wet dream? It's, it's not a big deal. It's possible. But wet dream could actually also has a lot to do with what you do during the day. Hey, okay? What you're thinking. Yeah, what so you watch. What you, you you're... check things around you and it's no big deal you, you could still be having it all right okay so the number the number the number okay so the number to call call us on zero one two seven seven zero nine nine three zero one two seven seven one nine nine three zero one two seven seven two nine nine three and zero one two seven seven three nine nine three this is nigeria info we are listening okay before i pick that call you let me ask if you make love to a woman mm -hmm. and you feel like she's not enjoying it, how does that make you feel? I feel down. Mm. So if you make love to her, she screams, she, you know, she. I screams. know that they can act too. <laughs> Don't forget, but you can't can act. Yeah, you can't differentiate. So let her just keep acting. So, so you don't even know. Yes. Your head. Yeah. But you, you are wishing. I just wish this is. Yeah. At least it's better than just being there and you are reading a magazine. Okay, so yeah. 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 Just turn your head and she's reading a magazine. How do you feel if if you are making love to a woman and she like? And she's busy and picking at it. <laughs> <laughs> she's picking at it while you are busy pounding and then then. Like, are you done? <laughs> Oh, I didn't even know. <laughs> ah, that would be terrible. How does that make you feel? <laughs> no, of course, it will always, it will, it will, your ego, it will go completely. Mm. I mean, bringing you down completely. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are picking the first call, the numbers are. That. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yeah. 
Hello, I can, you are live. Yeah, hello. Okay, I'm online now. Yes, you are live. Yeah, this program, uh, my... Hello? I can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, oh, please, if you are calling me your TV, I'm, 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 I'm sure that person is, is, is on watching from Wazobia TV and it's so loud. Turn down the volume of your TV set. Your TV radio, yeah, you radio, can turn it down. Please turn yeah. it down. Okay. Hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Um, my name is Mr. Anonymous. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Anonymous, is, do you want to tell us where you are calling from? I'm calling from uh, Amor's office. Okay. Um, I have an issue. Okay. Um, I'm married, and okay. um, I have a wife with uh, two beautiful kids, okay. a boy and a girl. Okay. But my wife, uh, pertaining to what we were discussing the other time, that uh, you know, before I got married, I had like um, maybe four to five girls. That was saying, and uh, when I wanted to get married, I had to meet. Uh, I, I felt, uh, although I prayed, so I felt uh, the very one, the only type, you know, who doesn't really like um, too much um, sex escapades and everything that will be. So eventually, I married her, and um, she's cool, she's calm and meek, but. Uh, me on the other hand, I I love I love to make love, and uh, she doesn't complain whenever you know um, maybe I meet her or sometimes when she can meet me maybe once in every three or four months. But where I'm actually driving out is I'm seeing someone else, and the person I'm seeing. She gives me virtually everything I want in a woman in terms of sex. Okay. But I actually don't know. Maybe what I'm doing is, though my wife is not aware of what I'm doing, mm. and I've been into it now for like um, four years now. Wow. And uh, the other lady, she, though she knows I'm married, but we have been keeping it cool. Just and she's way. single. Yes, she is. Okay. I hope I know she'll be planning to get married someday. Uh, yes, I know. Uh, mm -hmm. Though she sees somebody too, anyway. Okay. So, but uh, as it is, that I speak with you now. Um, she, she, maybe we might be putting an end to heat. Why? If she eventually gets married. Okay. Because she sees someone else now. But my issue is, I don't know what, uh, maybe what I'm doing is good or not okay because okay let me let me ask you okay. would you have prefer your wife gives you the kind of sex that that lady is giving you well i would have i would have but you know even though in, in as much as i try to my wife is not a a kind of woman who likes sex. But that was what, I mean, you were, see what I was the, talking yes, about? Yes. You were looking the, for. That was what you, that was, you, 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 know, you were dating you know, I ask you this question. Yeah, I know. I know that men, sex, <laughs> sex and men, you said you take, you take a homely no, girl is. and um, feel like <laughs> that doesn't like sex and take a homely girl. Yeah. By the time you get married, the reality will dawn on you. Yeah, to, but, yeah. Doctor, but it, 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 it takes, it is, um, it varies for men. It varies. He said it. Generally said, speaking, okay. men love sex. Men love sex. And not just sex, good sex. Anyway, yeah. let's answer our question. Yeah. I mean, his question. Mm. Now, to answer your question, now, the truth of the matter is, this one will get married, you go and look for another one. You keep looking for, because... Mm. Uh, the, and the only solution is to make sure that what you are looking for, now what you are looking for could be found in your wife. But she's ignorant, she's not exposed to it, and the right thing to do is to talk to a sex therapist. Bring her to me, I'll teach her how to drive you not. Ah, well, maybe I will try and do that anyway, because, um, truly speaking, I've tried on my own. You can't and, do uh, you, you see, really? I, I don't even want to go into all that, because, you see... 
there are lots of reasons. There are lots of uh, what made your wife. She's exposed. She has a cultural background where she's coming from, religious background. She has the way she was brought up. There are a lot of things that have fashioned her to be the way she is. And this thing has been there for, let's say, 20, 25 years. And just you just mm. woke up one day to change that thing. It doesn't work that way. She needs and to be you know the funny thing. You know the funny thing? She's more beautiful in terms of body. Everything that's what I said. Even the one I'm two, even two, seeing two, outside. Uh, uh, hey. So you will have preferred that this woman gives you what you are looking for because everything is in her body. So all you are just looking for is that thing. And you could see as beautiful, as calm, as everything as she is, you still went outside to look for that thing. That is the way men are. Sex is very important to me. So, like I said, I've answered your question. The solution is sex therapy. And you can't do it. You can't, you can't, you can't change her. In fact, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sex difficult. therapist, I yeah. can't even change her. Yeah, I can only of, help her to see reasons yeah. and then she make up her mind. If she wants to, yes. Right. Yeah, okay. she wants. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, personal experience, I always knew when my wife does or doesn't. When she doesn't, I try to make it up the next time. So some guys say they know when the woman is waking it. Yeah, uh, okay. You're lucky, aren't you? So, someone, someone sent me a message here. He okay. said, Nigerian men and sexual performance. Um, well, you and Dr. Tunu, sexual performance is typically unavoidably important in marriage mm. and intimacy. But it is relatively different from person to person. Okay. As a matter of importance, um, at, as a matter of importance attached to it, apparently couples should accommodatingly be acceptable to each other's intimate desires, mm. and then performance level will hit the roof. Mm. Mm. Sir, Doctor, Sir uh, Richmond um, Simon from Ikoyi um, sent that, that, that That's what I usually tell couples that. It's just like when you want to make love, you're thinking about your wife. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's about making sure my she wife is satisfied. satisfied yeah. And the woman is thinking about the husband. Like, at the end of the day, it's about making sure my husband is satisfied. satisfied. You'll be able to meet. Yeah, you meet, at yes, a at a common ground, ground yeah. yes. Okay. Okay, so let's take another call. The calls are many. But... Hello. Okay, so I'm cutting that off. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> That's all for you. Good morning, doctor. <laughs> Good morning. You're welcome. Um, I want to comment on what um you said earlier. Okay. Uh, when a key opens so many rooms. It is the master key. Mm. And when a door is opened by too many keys, mm. that means the door is bad. Mm. So that means when a lady has too many boyfriends, mm. she's a war. Okay. And when a guy has so many girlfriends, he's the champion. Mm. Do you understand what I'm trying to I'm say? I'm trying to so understand you. Yeah. What he's saying is probably when a girl has um, too many boyfriends and the guy is angry, he might be angry. Yeah. The girl is just a war. Okay. When two guys discover they, they are sexing a lady, yeah. they just make jest and be like, oh, that girl is... But when two girls, when two girls discover a guy is sex in both of them. They will fight till death. Mm. Yeah, so what okay. I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say in essence is, a lady should be with one man if she wants to be godly. But the so guy has to do anything. Really? I, I don't. In fact, I, I, as in, I want to slap you from, from this even from even you from crying out Really? For what? Really? For what? A lady is, is, is free, really? a man is free. For what? I mean, I mean, I don't Who says that? I, I that mean, you see, that, 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 I, that, 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 that one is a Nigerian mentality. What is yeah? it? That's a Nigerian that mentality. That is, how can a guy be saying you are free? For what? Who, who, who made yeah. you get it's you the audacity? What gives Nigerian you the mentality. right to do that? No, no. So let, let's keep that call and go to the next. To Hello? The... Hello? Yeah, I have a lady. Good evening. Good evening. Your name and where you are calling from, or you want to be anonymous? Esther from Tolu. Esther from Tolu. Okay, yeah. you're welcome. 
Mm, this is my first time for watching the show. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Esther. I love the show. Thank you. We are trying. God bless and keep it up. Amen. Thank, Thank you. you for calling. All right. You might want to try. If a woman doesn't feel satisfied after the man is done, what is the best way to tell him without offending him? The man. A woman. How do you tell, tell the man, man that you are not satisfied? No. See, when you are not a one night stand person, mm -hmm. if you guys have, you guys are intimate. You guys have good relationship. You guys will know how to play. For Nigerian men, of course, you don't throw it to his face. Yeah. Then you must find a way to say jokingly. And then he will why, accept. Why can't I tell you? No, I am not okay. No, they, they, see, whether you why like is this it or not. a problem for you guys? No, see, I don't. You don't I don't. Do why you don't no. do what I give you your score. No, no, there's a way. Finished. There's a way. There's a way you would say. You would talk to. No, don't forget. <laughs> you're talking to a Nigerian man. One, two. These, these are people that self ego is there. Hmm. You can't rule out those things. Okay. You can't take it away. 100%. So because of that, the way you talk to him, you must. You see, it's just like when they say um, a, a, a man beats a woman. I'm not in support of it. I'm not mm -hmm. it's in support of it. Okay. Violence, yeah? Okay. Domestic violence. Okay. But then you still hear people say, you too, what do you do mm. when they can beat you? Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. The fact you are saying is, you shouldn't even hit a woman in the first place. Right. But then when they will still ask you, you too, you, the woman, what did you do to him that will yeah. make him... So that is, whether you like it or not, you have to still consider, okay, you're in Nigeria, you're talking to a Nigerian man, or whatever. No, and, and, and these days, men are doing so much, taking this, swallowing that, you See, there's that. nothing that, I'm telling you, ask your listeners one day, when a man hears that, when you take this thing, it will be too good for why, you. Why? They will rush it. Why? Yes, because they want to be champions. They want to be... Why so worried? See... see. Uh, yeah, they will be worried. I've told you the reason. And this is, I tell them, they keep telling me, Dr. Tony, what do I tell you? I kept telling them, you could take and take and take. You might not, if, it's not about lasting for one hour. Yes, it is about having skills to deliver. This, you this, see, this, this, this thing might just be, it might just be five, ten minutes, and I'm it's just the best. I'm telling you. And it will beat your one hour record. Oh, yes, I know. Oh, I want to jack, 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 jack. I yes. Think like, Come on, get up! Uh, yes. Sometimes it is like that. Sometimes you just show yourself. And then the woman will just be there. And you finish and she and just And most like, of the time, the young men that feel like, ah, just like what you have said in the yeah. beginning, I am do that girl. Yes. So they, they are not that's just what, yes, that's what, yes. Most, I mean, most, if I tell you, I deal with couples <laughs> no. a lot, and I could tell you that most married women, they are in pains in there. And these men are also, they are taking this, they are swallowing that, yeah, and still the woman is not them, satisfied. A lot of them believe that it is the duration that counts. It's not. And yeah. I've said that a whole lot. That's why I said, keep telling them, listen to shows like this. 75 to 85% of women will not reach orgasm through mere penile penetration. Yeah. So what are we talking about? If most of for most of them, if even if you penetrate, the only way a woman can orgasm with penetration if you can get to the G spot. Do they even know where it is? Do they even know what is G spot? And do they know what G spot is? <laughs> do they know where the G spot is? <laughs> okay, let's answer that question. Okay, she's saying, what? How, how do I tell him? I think the right thing to do is, when else you want to make love? I actually understand what you is saying. Funny enough. Men's sexuality is attached to their ego. Yes. So everything. if you deflate the ego, uh, the reaction might not even come up again. Uh, so every time you want to, you want to make love to you, is thinking. Uh, first thing he's thinking is, uh, uh, I don't even know how to satisfy. Uh, Whether I will satisfy her? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, it's so, not. It's not. Now, it, it might be a big deal. So, but the first thing you need to do is maybe the next time you want to make love, you could say, "Babe, I, I just feel you. Should, you I, I want." Can you touch me like this? Yeah. You know, maybe when next you want to make... So forget about that time. Just act like everything is fine. Rob his ego, like what we're saying. Yeah. Then when next you want to make love, you can say, babe, bring his hand. Tell him, can you touch me like this? Can you do it this way? You know, just use try to tell him what you think he should do. You could also listen to shows like this. You could... There's so many things you could do. To, you know, stylishly just tell him without deflating his ego. All right? The cause are many. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Yes, 
You're welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Who? It's Felix from Mikurudu. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I want to say hello to uh, Brother Yo. Yeah, I greet you. I greet you. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I, I would like to first of all uh, correct an impression of, of, of to Okay. Me. Okay. I want to believe that what applied to woman applied to man. Okay. To me, I, I can never cheat on my woman. Mm. Are you getting me? Yeah. I never, I can never accept her to me. Mm. I, I'm a married man. Did they, did I, I, I even prayed to never help because when I took her to the altar, that's the agreement with, it, with us. Mm. So people should stop saying men have more right to women. I wonder. Women. Yeah, that, that, it's not actually have, not right, right. anyway. <laughs> mm. Okay. So, so we should stop saying, if, if a woman should not cheat, a man should not cheat. Right, right, right. So coming back to the thing that we're discussing, I want to tell you this, I've built anyone. Yeah. Let me give you a simple. Okay. The wife I have as a minister of God, don't much have the time. Mm. Or they don't have, it's not much interest over sex is it? Mm. And I, I, for me as a man of God, I deal with people. Mm. I want to tell you that there's a day I I I talked to her about it and said no. And get her to my office. the second day a woman came to me and said she's having such a problem with her husband. Mm. Get them saying now. That is it possible for me to learn with her? Mm. So at times women they use this to to push husband out. You know, if I'm not the type that uh, I've determined within myself, not for sake of my wife, but for sake of my children. Because it will not really affect my wife if I do so. If in fact, I, in fact I, I, I could put it to you hmm, that where the majority of this problem is, is in the religious setting. Yeah. That's where the problem is. It's in the religious setting. I can relate. I could tell you that most, especially people feel that their husband is a man of God. I tell them that there is a man before the of God. Your husband is you, human. He wants sex, and you are saying, "No, don't touch me like that. No, I don't like it. No, I'm on demand. Say no." I know many are listening to us. The problem is massive in the religious setting. Let me just tell you. I never escaped two women. Space of and you are very, life. very vulnerable now. Very, very vulnerable. Uh -huh. Very vulnerable. That's what I'm saying. Very vulnerable. I not only escaped two women. One on one. The calls are coming in. I, I might want to let you go. The, the calls are so many. Okay. Um. Thank you so much for calling. But that's the truth. Like I was saying. Yeah. Religious. Man. Men, women who kept like, I ah, know, nah, I can't do that. Too. I mean, you want to make love, you need to learn how to get down and dirty. What is like, anyway, let me pick call before I take over from you. Is your show tonight? <laughs> <laughs> get down and dirty. Hello, <laughs> hello, good morning. Good morning, Dr. Toledo. Good morning. Yo, 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 in the building. I get you, man. What's up? Yo, 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 yo. What's well, up, Papa, man? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, my man? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, Dr. Tulu, you're doing a good job, man. Thank you. Though, I'm still a young guy. I'm still in the university, though. But with the things I've been hearing on this show, I know uh, I've, uh, I don't think I, I'm going to have issues with my... My life in the future. Oh, that's yeah, nice. <laughs> Even your number, I've actually saved this in the cloud, man. I, I can't miss out your number, and then I'm going to follow you on all social networks. Thank you. All social media, man. <laughs> uh, you're doing a great job. Thank you. You have fun. I'm going to be following you for eyes. You look good. You look good. You follow me back. Very nice, man. I'm not interested. I won't be seeing you, my brother. <laughs> all right. No <laughs> worry. Just send me a DM now, and then I'll follow you back now. Hello. Uh, Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. You are, you are yeah, I know we can hear you. We can hear you. We can hear you. Uh, this is my first time calling. 
Hello. Yeah, we can hear you. Hello. Good morning, Dr. Tulu. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, this is my first time I'm listening to your program, and actually I fell for the program because it sounds interesting. Thank you. Thank you. You have been missing, Okay. Any? I have a question, please. Okay. Go, Hello? Go ahead, please. Okay. Um, like, how many minutes is the maximum satisfaction you could give to a woman? How many minutes? minutes? Okay, you should answer that. How many minutes? No, um, yeah. um, like I said, I'm not a therapist, though. But then, um, it is not about how many minutes. While some people will tell you that seven minutes is ideal, some people will tell you um, 20 minutes, some will say 15. Yeah? It is not um, about the duration. It is whether you're satisfying her. You can last, if you can last like one hour, and all you're just doing is just pounding at the end, she gets dry, and then at the end, you have to use lube, you have to do all that. And that, shh, you're not, you know, so it doesn't matter, the, it's not the duration that matters, it's whether you're satisfying her. Some people, before you even do anything to a lady, in just two, three, four minutes, they are satisfied. I'm telling you, they will appreciate you better than you, you spending one hour. That's right. So some people will tell you seven minutes. Outside, it's not, so yes, it's, it's about how, well. how well. How well. Some people will, will tell you how well are you using your instrument. Basically, that's it. You understand? Okay. Is you getting the right spots? You getting the right spot, hitting it at the right time, and then make her just go crazy that man, nobody has ever got into this particular sports and all that, and yet you did it. That's what matters. I'm not a therapist, and I don't want to sound like one, but... You're sounding like <laughs> one already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm and I'm listening to you. Okay. So, okay. but that's it, bro. Are, are you, are you okay? Okay. Uh, okay, I'm okay. I have a question. Okay, make it snappy. Quickly, yeah. Okay, my question is, the guys taking drugs to sex their wife or girlfriend, is it normal? Yeah, I think, for, for me, I don't think it's right, yeah? First and foremost, the drugs that you're taking, is it is it prescribed by a, a doctor, by a physician, or by a therapist? Is it recommended? Or you just hear, because I just said it. Uh -huh. A lot of us guys, once we hear manpower, <laughs> yes. What the latest one now is you hear tiger notes, those things, and then everybody's I, rushing tiger notes. I do. Yeah, do you understand? And then is is it prescribed by your doctor or something? That one is one. But then, if you must know what you can do, you must know what you can do as a man. Be sure because all these things you take, don't let it have side effects on you later. Most of them will have side effects. Yes. Effect. Actually, thank you for calling. Thank yes. you so much. So it's it's just it's just I don't get it. Take this drink. Every men are drinking this, swallowing yeah. that. That's yeah. why I'm talking about sexual performance pressure. Why are you guys doing this? You want to satisfy. Because you don't want her to go. I don't know. I don't know why you guys want to kill yourself. You don't want her to go. You, you, you feel you feel if you don't, she will go to meet someone else. So you don't want her to go. Why is this so painful? <sighs> <laughs> why is this so painful? How you want you want her to go? You want why is this so painful? You want to lose her? If you can't do it, let another person. <laughs> <laughs> this doctor is not a nice doctor. Ah, this doctor Lila, who comes to your show? This doctor is not a nice doctor. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. Yo, nice job, Doctor Tolu. That's from Njokan Wale. Good job, Doctor. Sorry, somebody's on there. Good job, Doctor. The use of drugs by man to enhance your sexual performance is a sign of low self-esteem, from my view. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good morning, actually. Good morning. Mm. Yo, I greet you. I greet you, boss. Yo, you say no be therapist, so you talk fast therapist. <laughs> Thank you, boss. When the guy takes the trip from last week, I know that we are not laughing. Bro, I want to ask that spot. I mean, I let us know because I really get confused. You, you know what? The good thing that is that. Spot that you said mm -hmm. good to eat that spot, and a lot of us we, we get confused. That G spot you're talking about, doctor, please. Where is the G spot? Okay, uh, do you want to say something? No, no, doctor, say it, say it. Okay, you see, 
in fact currently now about three other spots okay so she's uh, miss out about three other spots has been discovered yeah but i just don't want to bore you with all that worry your head you don't even know g spot so let's talk about you let's not talk about you or y spot for now let's look at the g spot now the g spot is at the roof of the vagina inside the vagina the g spot is just at the roof if you finger the woman you can feel it and when the woman is aroused it gets spongy yeah okay now it's not so easy to there are certain styles that you can use that could actually eat that spot it's not every style that you can use that can get to that point and every woman every couple now i don't want couples to i mean most of the problem the problem that most couple has is the woman is actually saying maybe she doesn't even know it's g-sport but she's saying that when we are using this, this style, style i enjoy it and the man is always saying i want it like this so that is very 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 common i don't know that's one thing. Why are Nigerian men like that? Once, once time for ten years of marriage because that's the style that he enjoys. That's the style that. And they don't do anything. Him. They don't do anything new. They don't try to try new Nothing. things. Nothing. Yeah. Every time on the bed. Every time yeah. missionary style. Not on the floor. Not on the wall. That, you know. You know. The... That's why I said something earlier on. I said when the guy that asked, I said it's for you to do it. If if it is, you hit the right spot. That's what I meant by when I said. Yeah. When you hit the right spot, you might just hit it for just two minutes yeah and then you're hitting the right spot right and once you hit it you hit it right and i could tell you that it doesn't matter the I don't duration know if I, I don't know if i'm going to be exaggerating if i say about 90 percent of nigerian men are not eating the spot yeah because they don't know where the spot is doctor they don't know where the spot and is the and then another if thing you don't know it's not a problem you don't know you now think you know it becomes a big problem yeah but but doctor i don't you also think that one thing that should be done is then just like you said the their wives should also their wives or their girlfriends should also tell them you that tell them they say you are no 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 no, 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 no i don't think i don't think so if you tell if you tell your partner this is it i men this doesn't place, even like the truth when it comes to sex yes because you know, I, I, I i said it earlier it depends on the way you are saying it if you make him feel less less oh my gosh if you make him feel do? less no it is the way you say it to him you don't forget that ego mm. eh? <laughs> if you be so happy to rub it yes well. if there's a way you say to him see there's a way he'll be hitting and then all you just do is you help him to say yeah what are you saying because for every man if you are hitting and then you hit that place and then she's saying to you yes that place yes baby that place that place there is no way any man okay, will not continue to hit that, the place. That will tell the husband, that place, that place. Tomorrow the man, the lady and will be trying to say, <laughs> and no, you will not remember the place now. My dear, even even my still, even my still, and again that took me to that place. Mm, mm. And the man is is not even remembering again. What the man doesn't mean? remember now. You are looking for money, uh, doctor. Why are you talking like this? <laughs> when you are looking for money, you have message. If for my if for my case, say something. He says, so much hypes out there. I watched a group of women on foreign TV discussing the same thing. So many men tell to 40 are unfulfilling. So women should teach their men rather than that's jump around. That's what I say. So let her just I tell our men. Are but, not but teachable. If Oma is difficult yeah. to teach you know, Our men are man. not teachable. If Oma, our men are not it's teachable. They, their self-ego, they will not They want. are not teachable. If you teach them, they say, you are, you are, where did you learn it from? Yeah. If you don't teach them, they think they know how to do it. They are not doing it the right way. So what do we do? <sighs> you still have to know how to to talk to your man. That's just the truth. <laughs> uh, you you still have to know. The how pressure to talk is to actually him. much. Yes, it is. And and men uh, and I think that it's uh, to do a lot. Uh, uh, it has a lot to do with ignorance. Men who think it's it's about lasting ten minutes. No, it's about lasting hundred hours. That's why that guy was I asking. Don't get it. Sometimes you don't even need to penetrate to make a woman come. Yeah. Yeah, that, you know, people don't know this. You don't need to penetrate for crying out loud. The penetration is just like the icing on the cake. What like, are we talking about? A lot about? of people don't know these things. You know, a lot so, of people. Me, Nigeria men, please wake up. Or your, I mean, yours. I, I don't know. I read, I read these things, you know, because when you give me the topic, I started to read. <laughs> don't cover me, please. That's why. <laughs> I don't know oh, this thing. Oh, man, I enjoyed the show tonight. <laughs> you should come back again. You should come thank back you. again. Thank you. All right, so um, thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, um, yo, I really don't know how to thank you. I mean, you made, you made my show. Normally, I'm very... I talk 
raw, but I'm very serious. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you are losing up a bit. So, <laughs> I'm just laughing. I'm just, I mean, people that know us are actually very right. So tonight, uh, you have made it interesting and we should do this again. Yeah, I think I like what um, I'm, I'm good says, you say men should learn how to be romantic with their women. That's it. Yeah. That's yeah, it. You, you should That's just it. learn how to play with her That's and it. then um, That's it. Um, learn how to play with your wives. Uh, Understand your wives. the skills of foreplay. Yes. Understand ah. the skills of foreplay. You mm. need it. Mm. Make love to her from the sole of her feet to the crown of her head. Mm. Every part of a woman body is sexy. Every part has something to do. It's yeah. not just about the vagina for crying out loud. All right? When I was in school, quickly, I know your time is up. When mm. I was in school, no, no. I had a friend that um, says that the husband would just say to her, um, the guy will come back around 12 o'clock thereabout, and all the guy says to her is, in Igbo, chichi, mepokuge, meaning chichi, open your leg. Oh. That's all. Oh, that's I, all. I, I say that a lot on this show. Is open it, open it, open yes. it, open it. That's now, all. Like when we were in school, open it. She, she she said that to open me. Open it. That's what they and said. And then I was asking her that. Really? No foul play, nothing. For where? And the guy was the first. Yes, yes. Yeah, the guy was the first person. And then and you expect the woman to look forward. The woman is now enjoying it. You are now saying she's got two kids. Uh, you are under pressure. I'm telling you, she's got two kids for him. And they, they were married while we were in school. And then I, I just said to her, so you mean nothing? She said nothing. Oh, I said, no, for not plenty. alone. No, plenty no, people. Nothing. I said, oh, no, 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 no. He said, that's all the woman. guy says to and her. I tell you, there's nothing that drives a woman crazy like that. Really? Women, funny enough, women love sex more than men. Ah. It's just that almost will not let men relax. Yeah. Women actually want it more than you guys. But your money is... It's true. Your successor own is telling you, I want it, I want it, I want it. Doctor, tell me that is why we are called men who we'll talk to women. It's all about you guys tonight, all right? <laughs> I've seen on you guys tonight. <laughs> men, yo, thank you so, 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 so much. You made it so interesting, so lively, so relaxing. And I'm not the usual of Thai Dr. Tolu tonight. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Okay? Thank you. So you want to say a final word today? All right. Um, just for, for every every man out there, if you know you get problem, it's not about the duration. Um, it's about um, um, what, what the skill. Yeah, the skills that you've got. It's uh, not far. Far, but how well. well. Um, and then if you if you think you've got a problem, it's important to see a sex therapist um, to advise you. And then for all the guys out there that take something um, to be able to perform, <laughs> yeah, you don't you don't really need it. And then be careful with things you take. Mm. Different people will tell you to take different things. We men, once we hear something, I'm telling you, if you tell them now that if they lick mentholatum, that it will help them to perform better, you will see men licking mentholatum as I'm talking to you. I'm telling you. If you tell, the, if you tell them now that it is, <laughs> it is mixture of a uh, uh, stout and alabuku. You will see them. I'm telling you, <laughs> they will take stout and alabuku. Uh, that's, why, that's why I actually picked this topic because you, I'm, I'm you, baffled. You'll be wondering, man. You, uh, we don't want to use ear to hear it. Uh, once we hear that, so 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 thing. Once we take it, ah, <laughs> and then just like um, doctor said, it is not the duration. Uh, ah, I beg you, before you start, self, you, it's possible. Not yourself, Basically, no. that's just the few things I have to say. <laughs> my 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 name is Yo. <laughs> I'm a Wazobi RFM, and then um, my handle is Yo Ninja. All right. That's it. Thank Young and John you. Instagram. Thank you, Thank you so, so much. So, I have to go and sleep because I have to go to work. You need to wait and go on TV. Oh, okay. I'm on TV. <laughs> oh, TV. I'm used to radio. <laughs> so, oh, no. All right. Okay. Yo, I can't thank you, you know. Yeah, you thank made you. this interesting and I'm going to bring you again. I'm going to drag you here again. Not this topic again. So, the people don't use bad eyes to be looking at me. My life is all about sex. <laughs> uh, so, whenever you are coming, still going to be I'll sex. I'll give you a good uh, topic that, uh, so that they don't say, what uh, are you talking? <laughs> yes. sure Somebody said on my experience. social media, I said, you're talking sex. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> all right guys thank you guys for joining me tonight it's been an interesting one and don't forget dating party before i forget about that dating party is on the 28th of october that's in about two weeks time we'll be having a dating party so you just want to you are single you want to mingle and you want to meet somebody fun you're you already dating and you just want to have fun just come together um i mean come let's have fun together we're going to be having this at ikoyi it's actually a total club at ikoyi so you're going to have fun it's going to be an interesting and it's a, it's a white gig so you're going to be wearing white you're going to dance a lot of games and then it's for people who want to find and be fun so you are single you are lonely you are bored or you are dating you just want to have fun let's uh, come together for the dating party on the 28th of october and if you want to be a part of the dating party all you need to do is to text dating party to 081-845-75377 i take it again 081-845-75377 thank you guys for joining me to enjoy more of this our will get videos when you just watch press this button to subscribe on top of our youtube page you go love her.